Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to session one, Understanding Disease. Good morning. So it's my pleasure to start this special session and to present our research on oscillatory signaling dynamics in the context of development. So in the developmental context, there's a clock ticking in vertebrate embryos, the segmentation clock. And this clock controls the formation of somites, which you can see here in this mouse embryo, will form your vertebral column. These somites form periodic, and this clock now consists of several pathways. Next slide, please. Can't click, the clicker doesn't work. It consists of several pathways that interact, and these are well-known pathways. Now it works. The notch, wind, and FGF pathway. And in this context, these pathways show oscillatory periodic activity, and they peak every two hours. They do so in the posterior end of the embryo, shown here on the right of the image, in cells that are undifferentiated and will form these organs. Now, we developed tools to visualize this clock, to see the clock in real time. In this movie that I play now, you will see now the activity of the clock, which is not only oscillatory, but you see waves of activity sweeping through the embryo in a very rhythmic and coordinated fashion. These waves are phase waves, have very interesting features. We want to understand what is their function and what is their origin. How do they emerge in the very first place? And for these reasons, we devised a new setup in my laboratory. It's an ex vivo setup, primary cell culture. We use cells from the embryo to seed in the dish. And this looks like a primary cell culture, as you know. But look at the dynamics on the right. Again, not signaling dynamics, and if I play the movie, Maybe in this direction is better. You will see now pulse, pulse, pulse. But look what happens now. You see that suddenly waves appear again in this monolayer of cells in a petri dish. These oscillations are very robust. They have the same period as we see in vivo. And importantly, even in vitro segments, these organs do form. So I'll show you here on the next slide. I will get used to the clicker. Let's try again. Next slide, please you will see that where the waves stop in the periphery, the boundary between cells is formed, and these are molecularly well-defined segments. So this is really segmentation in 2D, and we have used this essay extensively, <coughs> and I'm coming to my end, and then we used this setup extensively. If you show me the next slide, please. In the past, the next, please, to address, as I said, the function and the origin of these waves. And of course, in the last 15 seconds, I don't have the time to go into any detail. The key point is that we have, next slide please, now evidence that these oscillators encode, encode both time but also space. And with a thanks to my team and Imbial, I end here.